I'm going to tell you the story about the artist who thought he couldn't draw. Other people said his works were beautiful, but that's not what he saw. He saw the pages, all empty, all blank. When he saw his own work, his heart always sank. He didn't understand what people saw on the pages. All he knew was that paint paid his wages. And when he got famous, people'd stop and they'd stare. The artists didn't even understand why they'd care. One day, a man offered the artist half one billion dollars for his work of a hand he'd not spent two hours. Then, some years later, when all he now hated, he saw a young girl with the hand that she painted. He said that he'd offer her anything for it. He said it was beautiful. He truly adored it. Now this, the artist said, now this is an artist with such true talent. This is an artist who's shown she's valiant. At his next art show, he unveiled the painting from underneath the rag. He showed off the one million dollar price tag. He thought he'd go quick. He thought he'd go fast. He was really surprised when the shot almost passed. He said, what are you doing? Have you not eyes? Don't you look at this painting and wonder? In surprise, the artist was frustrated. He pulled out his hair. Why his and not hers? He didn't think it fair. They say he went crazy. His art all went numb. His shows are now empty. There remains only one. The one beautiful painting of the young girl's hand. That's all he's got left because he can't understand why people like his art and not the beautiful hand. And so the artist whom claims he still cannot draw still doesn't know why nobody saw what he saw. The painting, it seemed so pretty to him. Were they all too blind to see beauty? Or the minds all too grim? Why couldn't they see true beauty? Or could the problem be him? And one day, as the artist, which thought he couldn't draw, saw another girl standing in awe, not of his painting, but the one of the hand, he thought maybe this person he would understand. He said hello to the girl, he was really quite glad, but he soon found that for some reason the girl was sad. The artist asked why so down, and she turned away with naught but a frown. And as she looked to the ground, she went, I cannot draw, and in beautiful things no one's seen what I've saw. The artist looked at her, and he started to smile. He knew for this girl he'd been waiting a while. He had found somebody who had seen what he saw in the painting everyone else thought was quite dull. He said, you can draw, I'm sure your work's beautiful. I've seen what you've saw, I understand how meaningful such a simple line can be. If you don't like it out there with them, would you stay here with me? And so the two who thought they both could not draw admired each other's works. They saw in each other what them alone wouldn't have saw. Everyone's art is beautiful. If you know how to look, sometimes the small things are what count in the book.